dark skinned women dark skinned women are not intelligent enough are not smart enough are not witty enough are not legit enough hold on legitimate enough to create anything that is the topic of this live today brought to you by the world's first and only dark skin activists and this topic is to address head on the implications made by a person named eddie barrios that implies that dark skinned women cannot create or are not smart enough, are not intelligent enough to create anything. So stay tuned because that's what we're gonna talk about today. Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998 as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism, created in 1998. She is interviewed in Harlem after her show on the dark skin activist tour. All right, so I am here with Rashida Strober finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yep. We have, she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be live in one soon. And, you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show she was actually one of the ones that was like no she has to come back but thank you heather and so i don't know heather if you have a question but we don't have a lot a lot of time um but if you don't have a question that you want to post i just want to start off with a question that i've asked rashida a million times before which is what inspired her to do um a dark skin woman's revenge so in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's where they tell, wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first and only movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people and called herself the Dark Skin Activist. Rashida created the phrases Dark Skin Activist and Dark Skin Activism. Years later, Black people mocked her and now they relentlessly copy her all over social media and television. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She's the first person in recorded history to create a movement of this kind. She's the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been the only one doing so consistently since 1998. She's written more books on dark skin than any, anyone in the world. Her books can be found at darkskinactivist.com. Rashida has been touring the country since 2006, giving darkism lectures and performances of her plays. Books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism, 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, The First Motivational Book for Dark Skin Females, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, and Token Dark Girl, The It Dark Girl of the Moment. The 20 year legacy of the dark skin activist continues for more information on Rashida's 20 plus years as the world's first and only dark skin activist, visit darkskinactivist.com, share, donate, and make sure, make sure you attend one of the upcoming understanding darkism courses taught by the one and only world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. And with that being said, I'm going to stop the screen sharing for a minute really quick. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in this morning to the world's first and only dark skin activist. As I address this issue head on of the, the, the issue of dark skin women are dark skin women smart enough to create Are dark skin women smart enough to be originators. That is the question. And so real quick this morning, what I would like to do is I want to remind everybody and I'm going to do a, another quick screen share. Um, that on this coming Tuesday 
And I, you know, I would highly recommend Erdi Barrios because you're probably watching me right now. You always watch everything I do. And to all the detractors, all the plagiarizers, all the haters, um, all the supporters, I am offering for the first time in history, the darkism course, understanding darkism. And this is the introductory price. You will not be able to get this course at this price again. It is $79.99, which is a bargain. This course is worth way more, literally over a thousand dollars. But this is the introductory uh, price. You guys could go ahead and register for the course. I'm going to once again, drop the link for uh, the April 23rd course. I'm gonna drop that link in there first because that's the one that's coming up first. And I wanna encourage you guys to go ahead and hey, Keith White, you're in Tampa, Florida. Oh, shout out to you. Maybe we can meet up at uh, Starbucks someday or wherever you want to go. I just said Starbucks off the top of my head because I go there whenever I want to you know, meet somebody and have coffee. But anyway, hit me up. Maybe we could do that. But OK, so April 23rd, 2019 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anybody anywhere in the world can take my introductory course offering called Darkism, Understanding Darkism, where I'm going to give you the real history of colorism because black women have unscrupulously this is what they've done been dishonest not given credit and i'm here to tell the truth i'm here to tell the truth a lot of them have ripped off my work they never cared about uh dark skin discrimination colorism and now they do it for views and for profit when i've been doing this from my heart since 98 before social media even existed so i'm going to give you the real true history within this course of where colorism comes from and who started it, who coined the term, take this course. You don't want to miss that. So the first one, first round, April 23rd. Okay. And you, you, it's too late to get the hardcover book, but if you go to my GoFundMe or to my PayPal, you give anything below $25, I'll send you an electronic copy of the book darkism because it is required for this course. Now on May 21st, I'm offering another understanding darkism course so you guys go ahead and register for that and the price is going up and this particular course which is the same course but this time i decided to go ahead and include the book within the price okay so make sure you go ahead and sign up for the understanding darkism course either on next tuesday april 23rd or on may 21st um which is also on a tuesday both of these classes are held on tuesdays and they are at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I want to stress that any person anywhere in the world can take my Understanding Darkism course where I'm going to break down exactly what darkism is and its global impact. Also, I'm going to give you the true history. Um, people need to understand colorism did not start on the internet. Colorism, the discussion of colorism did not start on the internet. Now, I'm tired of black women not being honest about it. And I'm going to be the first person to tell the truth about that. And I'm going to continue to hammer on at this because I love it for real. I'm passionate about it for real. The rest of these people are fakes. They're doing nothing but ripping me off, plagiarizing my work. They didn't care about it. They didn't support it. And I'm going to tell the truth. And I got a lot of people that are upset, but guess what? I don't care about you being mad and upset. What the dark skin activist is going to do is relentlessly tell the truth. So go ahead and register for the course. I'm going to quickly drop the link for the um, the May 21st course offering. I'm going to drop that in the chat box. Now, mind you, all of these uh, links are in the description box. All right. So now I'm going to stop the screen sharing. We got that out of the way. This particular live here was prompted by a person. They claim they, they said 2005 that they've been following me. I don't know. Um, how true that is, but they have been following me for a number of years and they're one of my critics and they've said a lot of things. One of the things that they said, which is, you know, it's, it's slander. Actually, you, you're getting to the point of slander is they continue to go on and on. And I'm talking about Eddie Barrios stating a lie that I do not have two college degrees or that my degrees are fake. And I've said this over and over and anybody with any intelligence and common sense and half a brain knows that you can get on to the internet. You can go, you can call the university of South Florida, which is where I graduated from. Um, I obtained a bachelor's degree in history in 2001. 
I obtained a master's degree in political science in 2005. This is public information. Any person, any entity, including entities like the FBI, let's throw them in there. Because most people, if the FBI, let's say the FBI decided they want to go and check Rashida Strober's background and see if she really has these groups. Do you think that I would be simple minded enough because it's a, a sim only a simple minded person would lie about a degree to say. I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, and let's say I applied for a job within the FBI and they went and they did a. A, a background check, which, of course, they would do, and they did um, a check of my credentials and I lied about it. How stupid would that be? It makes no sense. How stupid would I be to come onto a public platform showing my face for the world to see, anybody to see, and lie about something? To me, this is simple because, you know, academia is was easy for me. Something as simple as obtaining, earning through hard work and discipline, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. It makes no sense. So Eddie Barrios is slandering my name because right now you are slandering. You're lying. You're not being honest because I actually do have a bachelor's degree from the University of South Florida and a master's degree from the University of South Florida. And again, any entity, any person, any organization, all they have to do is do their due diligence and get in contact with the University of South Florida. I'm not sure who handles um, giving that information there, but I know for a fact that you can call because when you apply for jobs, which I've done, they've ask for my transcripts, official transcripts, and they fact check to be sure that I have this degree from the university or these degrees from the University of South Florida. So what you're saying, see, here's the thing with me. You can say what you want to say out of your mouth, but make sure you're telling the truth. So now you're lying. And I, one thing I can't stand is a liar. And this is my problem. That's why y'all talk about, I talk about the plagiarism. That's my main problem with a lot of black women on YouTube. They're liars. They're plagiarizers. They're ripoff artists, they're liars. And this is the beef that I have with them. So I only respect people that are honest and truthful. So for you to lie and slander without actual facts, that's the thing. You're saying that I don't have a degree or that my degree is fake, but you haven't presented facts. You haven't presented evidence and proof that the degrees are fake. And see, I don't have to present any evidence or proof because the proof is right there. The burden of proof is on you. You're the one that's angry and jealous and resentful that, um, and it goes back to this, this, this issue of dark skinned women are too stupid to create something because that's, that's, that's your, your, your idea of me as a dark skinned black woman. You don't think that I'm smart enough to have obtained a bachelor's degree. You don't think that I'm smart enough to have obtained a master's degree because I'm dark skinned. And that is darkism. That's the real issue here. I'm not, and, and again, back to the theme of this video. That's what's prompted this whole entire lie because the elephant in the room is that black people themselves do not think that other black people are intelligent enough are witty enough, are crafty enough, are clever enough to create something from scratch. So that's why you have such a problem with me, a dark skinned, regular nappy headed woman and other black women do too, because they wish they would have thought of the idea of dark skin activism first, but that's never gonna happen. You can't go back in history and change time. So what they do is attack me because they weren't smart enough. They weren't creative enough to do it. You didn't do it. So the only thing that you can do is attack, but you will never win with me because everything I say is based on facts, truth, honesty, integrity. I don't lie. And I don't like you, Eddie Barrios, but guess what? I have enough integrity and honesty to not lie on you. Whatever I say about a person, it's going to be based on truth. I will never come on to social media, television, wherever, and lie on a person. Even if I don't like you, and it's a lot of y'all I don't like. I don't like your character. I don't like how you move. But I'm not going to make up shit because that's not how I move. I'm an honest person with integrity. And that's how this, this is going to go down. So let's get back to this issue 
dark skinned women are not smart enough to create anything. And that is at the heart of Eddie Barrios's claims about me not creating darkism, dark skin activism, which is absolutely insane. Um, that is at the heart of other black women plagiarizing, ripping off, stealing my work. Anybody that's talking about colorism, you're stealing from Rashida online, plain and simple. You were not doing this before me. You had to get it from somewhere. And some of y'all will make up lies and say, well, I never heard of you. You know, all hogwash, all lies. I am the person that brought the entire topic and discussion of colorism, darkism, dark skin discrimination online. And I will get my respect. I'm going to fight for it. I will get my acknowledgement and yes, my money because you owe me. So let's get to this question. Let's, let's, let's break this down. Now, the underlying assumption that Eddie Barrios has is clearly that it is okay for non dark skinned people to create something. So here, so here's the issue here. He claims that I did not create darkism when in fact I coined darkism to mean the discrimination of dark skin women. So let me throw this out here. Make sure y'all paying attention to what I'm saying. I told you guys I have a master's degree in political science and where I'm going with this is I want to show you um, within the study of political science, we studied a lot of white males. And in the study of not just political science, it could be any type of science, physical science, whatever the case may be. What people do, what scholars do within different various academic fields is they create or operationalize using a word to help people to understand a phenomenon. So white men and I'm going to show you guys some concrete examples of this, have done this. But Eddie Barrios has no problem with white men doing this, specifically with white men creating words, just like how I did, but I'm a dark-skinned woman, to operationalize a phenomena that they're studying or observing, to place in a framework. This is what scholars do but I'm dark skinned and I don't count. I'm a dark skinned black female and I'm too stupid and too dumb. This is only reserved for white males and the non dark skin. Because here's the thing, let me throw this out here. Alice Walker, it's okay for her because she did exactly what I did. She created a word or operationalized a phenomena to describe what some black people go through and she called it colorism. But it's not okay for Rashida Strober, a dark skinned woman, to operationalize or create a word to describe the phenomena that I, as a dark skinned woman, go through. I can't do it because I'm dark skinned. Hence, dark skinned women are too fucking stupid. Rashida Strober, as a dark skinned woman, I'm too dumb to create or operationalize a word to describe a phenomena that I'm going through. But Alice Walker can do it. She did exactly the same that I did. And trust me, this is no shade to Alice Walker. I'm saying this to make a concrete point. And I dare anybody to refute, refute me because you're not going to win based upon simple logic. It is a fact that Alice Walker, ask her, somebody needs to ask her about this. And if I ever get a chance, chance to talk to her, she'll probably tell you the same thing. She created the word colorism. She coined, do we understand what coin means? People have been coining or creating words and phrases to operationalize phenomena or experiences that human beings experience for the longest. But it's not for dark skin Rashida Strober to do because I'm too fucking stupid. I can't do it. Even with all my academic credentials, my bachelor's degree in history, my master's degree in political science, where I studied a bunch of white men who are who are political theorists. But I can't be a political theorist. The irony. Now, that's motherfucking darkest. That's motherfucking darkest. I can't do it. I'm not allowed, according to Eddie Barrios. 
But Alice Walker can do it. Hold up. Let's screen share. Let's screen share here. These white men are allowed to do it. They're allowed to create. They're allowed to create. But guess what? Rashida can't. Thomas Kuhn. Do we know who Thomas Kuhn is? Some of y'all may not be familiar with, with who Thomas Kuhn is. But Thomas Kuhn is basically a white man, as we could see, who was an American uh, physicist. He was also a philosopher. And he himself created the phrase paradigm shift. But because he's a white man, he's allowed to. Everybody accepts it. People don't come stealing his work. The white community embraces him. You know, he, he wrote a book just like how I wrote a book, a groundbreaking book. I believe it was written somewhere along in, in the early 60s, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions. But Rashida Strober is not allowed to coin darkism and describe the phenomena that she has experienced as a dark-skinned woman without people saying, oh, you didn't do this, or without people, black, other black women coming in, ripping off and stealing my work. But Thomas Kuhn is allowed to do this. Shout out to Thomas Kuhn, no shade, because the man ain't did nothing to me. He's done what he's done. But I'm just calling out what black people have done to me and how they don't, they don't want to allow me to be an academic, to be a paradigm creator. Shout out again to Thomas Kuhn for coining the term paradigm shift. Because even though I'm being discriminated against right now, I'm not going to plagiarize. I'm going to tell the truth about who created what phrase. And Thomas Kuhn created paradigm shift. Let's talk about Karl Marx, who created Marxism. Okay? Karl Marx. A lot of us know this man was a philosopher, um, a political theorist, a sociologist. You know, he was, and, and people didn't like him in his time. I will say that. Okay. They didn't like him. But the fact of the matter is, is he created Marxism, which is a political economic theory to describe the political and economic situation that he found himself in at the time. But Rashida Strober cannot do the same. I can't coin darkism. But it's okay for Karl Marx, a white man, to coin Marxism. It's okay. Y'all see the darkism in this? Again, the title. Let's go back to what the title of this live is. Dark-skinned women are not smart enough because that's what you're telling me. you saying I'm too fucking stupid to create theories and paradigms. Dark-skinned women and black women who rip off my work and don't give credit, they're saying you're not fucking worthy so we can take from you. This, my friends, is darkism. But hold up. Let's go back and talk about some other white men some other political theorists, some other scientific originators and creators. Let's talk about Albert Einstein, who created the theory of relativity, among other things, held as this brilliant man. But again, he's allowed to do these things because he's a white man. It's okay. It's okay. But Rashida Strober, stating the truth of the, 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 the fact that she created dark skin activism in 1998 and then developed darkism, I'm not a fucking loud to do it because I'm too fucking stupid. I'm too dumb. I'm not worthy. Do we see the darkism in this? Do we see the fucking double standard in this? Hope we see in this because I'm just simply, all I'm doing is, is calling out the truth because that's all I know how to do. That's it. That's it. That's all I know how to do is tell the truth. 
And then, again, this is no shade to Alice Walker. I'm just making a point here. I'm making a point to help people understand the darkism that Rashida Strober faces from black people. Now, Alice Walker coined the word colorism to describe the phenomena that she experienced and saw other black people experience in the same way that I coined darkism. But Alice Walker gets credit. Rashida Strober is too fucking black, dumb, stupid, and ugly to get credit for coining darkism. Do we see the darkism in this? Do we see this double standard in this? All of these people that I just mentioned, they have done the exact same thing that I have done with darkism in terms of, again, operationalizing, using a word to describe and denote whatever experience that I want to explain to the world that I'm going to. They've done the same thing as me. But I can't fucking get credit for my work. This is, therein lies the fucking problem. Everybody thinks that it is okay for black women on YouTube to make videos regurgitating and creating derivatives of my work. You think that's okay. Y'all are full of shit. That's why I'm gonna continue to hammer in on this shit. And let me tell you something. You're not gonna beat me based upon the facts of logic. You're not. You can say whatever you want. You could not support me because I'm, you know, some people say, well, I'm not going to, that's fine. Do whatever you want because you're not understanding. You're not, you're not, uh, obviously you're not critically thinking, but I'm going to continue to do what I do. None of you and your, your criticism, your lack of research, your lack of understanding is not going to deter me. You know why? Simply because I'm right. Simply because I am telling the truth, period, point blank. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. Now, I want to thank you to those of you that tune in. Some of you don't comment, but you still watch and you still tune in. And I still appreciate you for doing that. And I want to ask that you share this video. I want to ask that you subscribe and also like the video. I also want to let everyone know that, again, I want to uh, stress my understanding darkism course because the Understanding Darkism course will help even the haters to begin to understand the entire paradigm, phenomena, framework of darkism. So you really should be taking this course. Everybody should take this course because people clearly don't understand. So I'm going to go ahead and share my um, screen and I want to help people to understand, and that is the reason why I created these courses. So you have two choices. On Tuesday, April 23rd, I am going to be presenting darkism, understanding darkism. And on May 21st, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, both of the classes will take place. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be presenting Understanding Darkism. Now, I will tell you that the April 23rd is the introductory price. Uh, it's $79.99. You're not going to be able to get it for this price again. So if you want to get that price, get in right now for this coming Tuesday. All you need to do is click this link where it says get your virtual ticket. Go ahead and get your ticket and boom, you're in. Now, this uh, particular course, the one that's coming up on Tuesday, April 23rd, does not include the book. You do have to buy the book separately. At this time and point, if you go to my GoFundMe or PayPal and you give under $25, I will send you the electronic version because there's not going to be enough time to get the hardcover version to you by Tuesday. Now, the May 21st course includes the book, okay? So you have two options. Go ahead and sign up. I ask that everyone share these links with your, um, with, you, with your friends, with your family, with your followers, et cetera, because this Understanding Darkism course is so important to the real, true history of, of, um, of, 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 of darkism, of colorism, of skin tone discrimination. And I want to honor the people that actually developed the discipline 
No one's developing the, dis the discipline of darkism but me right now. But trust and believe years down the line, people will be developing the discipline of darkism the same as they've done for colorism. And I want to make clear for anybody that wants to come on here and lie and be dishonest is when I'm when I reference Alice Walker, it is not to shade her because I have an immense amount of respect for her. Understand me clearly. It is to make a point to Eddie Barrios, who doesn't seem to understand that Alice Walker coin created the word colorism in the same way. It's the same thing. It's no different. But because you don't like me, I'm dark skinned, you feel that I'm not worthy of the same respect. You feel that I am not worthy of getting my credit. And that's darkism. That's darkism. That's darkism. So I want to thank you guys for watching again. Make sure you sign up and register for these courses because you are going to start to really begin to understand what darkism is and what its impact is. Because, it, I mean, it, it, the impact is just overwhelming. And I will not stop until this course and dark skin activism and all its tenets reach every corner of the earth. Thank you guys for watching the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the creator, the inventor, the architect, the designer of the first platform in history for dark skin, known as dark skin activism. They mocked me. They said I was stupid for calling myself the dark skin activist. Now all over social media and television, black women copy and rip off the work of the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober.